Hello everybody, welcome. It is another rainy evening here in Orlando. It has been raining so much lately at nighttime. It has been absolutely crazy. So what do you do when it rains in Orlando? You go get cake. here at Disney Springs. I'm excited. Um, one of the good things about when it rains, there's hardly anybody at Disney Springs. So you kind of have a run of the place. The bad thing is, it's an outdoor mall. So you will get a little bit wet, but I brought an umbrella. So hopefully it won't be too bad. Now, when it comes to Disney Springs, when it comes to rain at Disney, comes to rain at Orlando and the theme parks, there's actually a lot of stuff to do. Umbrellas going up. Uh, you don't actually have to just go get cake. There's a ton of stuff to do. You can go to the parks. You can go to City Walk, you can go to Disney Springs like I am at now. There's a lot of different things to do, not just eat cake, but sometimes I just don't feel like putting on a poncho. You know, sometimes you just don't feel like doing the whole poncho thing, umbrellas, braving the weather um, to get out and ride the rides, but you can still have a ton of fun at the parks, even in the rain. Um, and we do episodes all the time, even though it rains. But today, I really just wasn't feeling it. I didn't feel like going to the park in the rain, so instead, it's feeling a little down, it's a little dreary out, I mean, you can kind of see the sky behind me, it's, it's putting me in a mood, and in order to make that mood better, in order to make me feel better, I'm going to get some cake. And what better place to get cake than Gideon's? Um, I've actually never tried Gideon's cake before, I've had their cookies, lots of people talk about their cookies, you've heard a lot about their cookies. But I've never had their cake. Um, and we were at Gideon's, we were talking about Gideon's cookies not too long ago. And somebody recommended in one of our comments, they said, have you tried the cake? And I want to give a shout out to Our Life On The Go. They're the ones that recommended it and said how great the cake is. So check out their channel, Our Life On The Go. Uh, we appreciate the comments. So here we are. I'm coming to Disney Springs. I want to try the cake. I want to know if it's any good or if it's just mediocre. I love cupcakes and I also love cake. So I'm kind of excited to give this a try. As you can see, it's still raining. Yay! Uh, but when have you seen so few people standing outside of, Chef, outside of Chef Arts? Never. I mean, usually there's like 50 people standing outside of that restaurant waiting to get in. There's literally nobody. Look how empty the bar area is. I'm actually hoping that because it's been raining, there won't be too many people waiting for Gideon's. It might be false hope. <laughs> there might still be a ton of people and a long wait for it. Usually I don't come to Gideon's except for when it's like right before it closes because then usually you don't have to wait that long. But the problem with that is that they run out of everything. So by the time you get to go, um, most of the stuff is gone. And unfortunately, again, it was false hope. There's still a long line. So I guess we're gonna be waiting here for a little while. Hopefully it goes fast. But hopefully this time I actually get to try some of the specialty items and hopefully a piece of their cake because that's the whole point of why I'm here. Like I said, we've tried their cookies a bunch of different times um, and their cookies are pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of Gideon's cookies though, I'll be honest. Like for me, they're pretty expensive and I don't think they're that great. I mean, I think they're pretty good and they are original. I've never eaten any other cookie like them. But I definitely am not like somebody that craves coming here for the cookies. I think there's better cookies all around. Um, but I hear the cake's pretty good. And so we want to try it. Let's we'll see if it's any good. I'm really hoping they do have a specialty cake here right now that's special for the season. Um, I don't know if they're going to have it or not. They're handing out menus. I wonder if it's on there. I'm going to ask. So they gave me a menu when I got into line. Um, and let's take a look. So they, I did ask and they said they are not out of anything at the moment other than the early morning specialty um, coffee cake. Now, I have had this morning um, exclusive coffee cake cookie. I don't think it's good. Um, me personally, I don't think their coffee cake cookie is good, so they are out of it. She said they don't have the evening exclusive coffee cake yet. 
I've had the coffee cake cookie. I don't think it's good because it doesn't have the texture of a cookie. It just has the texture of a coffee cake. And so for me, if I'm coming for a cookie, I mean, I want it to be a cookie, not a coffee cake. Um, I don't see any specialty cake. It just says um, enormous cake slices. They don't put it on the menu, but there should be a few different kind in there. Also, even though I said I'm not really here for the cookie, they do have this special peanut butter cold brew cookie, which I kind of <laughs> might have to try and go for, even though that's not what I'm here for. So we'll find out. We finally made it inside. The line was maybe 10 to 15 minutes, not too bad. But really, I didn't honestly save much time with the rain. I thought it would make it faster, but it didn't. I mean, it wasn't on a virtual queue, though. It does get really busy here. Um, and maybe if it wasn't raining, it would have been on a virtual queue, which means I would have had to wait longer. So 10 to 15 minutes wasn't too bad. I just like, it's so cool in here. I love the way it looks in here. Okay, I see three pieces of cake here. I see golden Oreo vanilla cake, but I don't see a big cake, so I don't know if that means they're out or not. Uh, then they have a peanut butter banana double frosted cake. Mm, wow, that sounds kinda awesome. And then they have a salted caramel cake. Okay, score. I got two things. <laughs> I wasn't here for cookies, but I saw that peanut butter espresso or cold brew or whatever cookie. I was like, okay, fine. Twist my arm. I'll get the cookie. Whatever. Uh, but I also got a piece of cake. It's the, I got the peanut butter banana double whatever piece of cake. Looks popping. I cannot wait to get back home and try this out. So let's get going. I'm going to get out of this rain. I've had enough of the rain already and it's starting to rain harder. So I think we're going to take this show back home and we're going to try out these delicious treats in just a minute. Change of plans. We're not going home and trying it. We're just going to do it right here in Starbucks. We found a really cool dry place to hang out. Um, she got a Starbucks drink. What'd you get? Same I old, same old? Yeah, I always have to look at my phone. It's I don't selfish. actually know what it's called. I don't know. It says a bunch of words right there on the cup. I don't know what any of that means, but that's what she gets. Uh, so anyhow, she was like, yeah, I'll meet you over because I, I waited to Gideon's and she went shopping and went to Starbucks and she was like, oh, I found a cool place, so let's hang out here. It's a little loud, I apologize, I mean. All of a sudden, somebody's yelling. Yeah, there, it wasn't, it really wasn't that loud until like, <laughs> I pushed record and then all of a sudden it got loud. I don't know what happened. So let's get going. Um, like I said, tried. To, I got the cookie first. But I don't want to do that yet. I want to wait on the cookie because I, I don't want to like soil this experience because it's really about the cake. And I, I'm pumped. This is a $9 piece of cake. All their slices of cake there are $9, but they are huge. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, what? I can't even get, I can't even get this thing, this whole thing in the frame. It's so big. Look, look at it. It's a monster. Um, and this thing weighs a ton. Here, feel that. Have you, have you tried to hold it yet? Here, try it, try it, try it again. It's like a bowling ball. I mean, it's heavy. So I don't know if that means the cake is gonna be super dense or if it's all these like layers in here. I don't even know what these layers are. If it's like cheesecake or icing, frosting, I don't know, but it sounds amazing. And this is the peanut butter Banana double frosted chocolate cake. <laughs> it sounds weird, but I actually love bananas and peanut butter. I'm a huge fan of bananas and peanut butter. My mom used to put Miracle Whip on the on the bananas. She would do banana, peanut butter, crunchy peanut butter, and then Miracle Whip on top of that, which sounds like not mayonnaise, Miracle Whip, which sounds like the worst thing you could possibly eat. For some reason, I loved it. She, she invented it. I don't know if she invented it or what, but she made, she made me try it and we tried it and I loved it. And, but for some reason, as I've gotten older, I can't make, I can't make myself eat it. I can't, I can't, I can't bring myself to eat it now that I'm older, but I still like bananas with peanut butter. I think it's a good combination. So I'm hoping this is good. Let's rip into it. Here we go. And there's a lot. This, even this just small bite is like really heavy on my fork.
A little hint of banana coming through for me. But heavy peanut butter. I taste a lot of peanut butter. Heavy peanut butter. I need another bite before I make any judgments here. I'll try this little thing on. Oh, there's the banana. There, it just came through strong for me. Um, try a little, a little bit of that. It's hard to get. That just tastes like cream cheese icing. Do you think it tastes like banana? Yeah. Maybe the, I think the peanut butter is just so strong. I can't taste anything. Yeah, you got you got to just get the dollop by itself without the peanut butter. Because the peanut butter is definitely overpowering. Okay, I, I totally taste the banana. Right there on that dollop. Okay. I have thoughts. Um, first of all, I love the banana flavor on the dollop of, there's like this little dollop here. See this little like swirl here of this like, I don't even know what to call it, frosting or something on the top. That's like pure banana and I really can taste the banana in that. And there are layers of that same um, frosting or whatever throughout the cake. But when you eat those those layers of that like white frosting with everything else, it disappears. I can't taste the banana at all. The, 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 I don't even taste the chocolate almost. The peanut butter really overpowers it. That being said, I actually, it still really tastes really good. Yeah, um, it, it, it really does. Um, I can't eat a lot of it because it's super rich. And it's, it's heavy. Like I'm already done. It's heavy. I, I'm thirsty. I have an iced coffee, but now I just feel like yeah, I need a I need, ice a, water. I need a water. <laughs> that ain't going to get like, it done. I'm so thirsty now. This is, I've never had a cake like this. It's, there's something about it. It's like, I've never had icing like that or frosting. I don't know. Some, I don't know if it's like a part of the country, whether you call it icing or frosting, or if there's a difference. I don't know. I always I think, call it icing. I think it tastes like really thick cream cheese icing. I think it tastes like fudge. It reminds me of fudge. The texture of it, um, and the thick, the density. It's really thick and dense, and it's very sugary. I, it kind of reminds me of fudge almost. I've never had a frosting like it at all. Never had a frosting. I've never even had a cream cheese frosting like that. I don't taste cream cheese at all though. I don't know where you're getting the cream cheese flavor. That's just what I think. I taste the banana that time. Yeah, it's like, it's an aftertaste. Yeah. Like when I first taste it, it's just like straight sugar, almost like a fudge sugar text. And then all of a sudden this hint of banana hits me at the very end, which I really like. I just wish it was more balanced. Mm -hmm. And it's so weird because I feel like usually when there's banana, it overpowers everything. All I can taste is banana. In this. But for some reason in this, all I can taste is peanut butter, which peanut butter is an overpowering flavor too. So I guess all combined. I don't know. I think this is a really cool cake. Um, it's. I feel like it's definitely worth nine bucks because it's huge. We. I mean, we've been digging into it, the two of us, and there's still a ton left, and it's extremely heavy. I feel like it would take us like four hours to eat this piece of cake, and then I would go into a sugar coma. I just wouldn't eat any more because I'm just too thirsty. It's too. It's, it's too much. So rich. It's, too much. it's. It's a. It's fudge. I'm telling you, it tastes like fudge. The texture of fudge, which if you're a fan of fudge, you're gonna love this. If you don't like fudge at all, you might not like this, honestly. Um, I'm not a huge fan of fudge, but I actually like this a lot. Um, wow, I've never had anything like this. I mean, just look at how much of the cake is left. I mean, we've been digging into it. There's just so much of that frosting, it's really heavy. Um, I'm a huge fan of frosting too, and I never thought that I would ever say this, but I feel like I need a little bit more cake. It's so overwhelming, the, the cake frosting. falls apart. I kept trying to pick it up and it kind of like crumples apart. It was kind of annoying to get it on my fork. Mm. I mean, that cake is spectacular. It's so moist. I thought it was, I thought the, I actually thought the cake was gonna be dense because the whole thing is so dense. It's not, it's like fluffy. I don't even know how it holds the weight of the frosting if I'm being honest, because the cake itself, the texture is phenomenal. The flavor of the cake is phenomenal. I have never said this before in my life, but I actually wish there was more cake and less icing, less frosting. I am always a, my mom and I always say it, the cake is just there to hold up the frosting. In this case, I actually need a little bit more cake for a perfect, I mean, it would balance this out. I feel like so much better, but I love it. It's phenomenal. Nine, nine dollars for this piece of cake. I think it's worth it. And it's a really interesting flavor combination. I do wish there was a little bit more banana flavor. I wish there was actually a little bit more cake. But it's pretty awesome now. I kind of want to try some of the other cake slices that they have. They have salted caramel and then like a golden Oreo, vanilla Oreo one. 
which looks good. We'll try them again another day. All right, let's talk about the next one we got, which is the cookie. Again, this wasn't, I wasn't planning on doing a cookie at all, but I could not pass this bad boy up. This is the special limited edition seasonal cookie that they've got right now. All I had to see was peanut butter cups and I was, I was in. That's all I had to see. Check this thing out. Oh man, that looks good. Yum. Okay, check it out. So this is called the peanut butter cold brew cookie. And it's six dollars, just like all their other cookies. Um, they do have a limit; you can only get six cookies per person. So um, I don't know that I would ever get more than six cookies, though, because it's like fifty pounds worth of cookies. But um, it's a lot. So listen to what's in this thing. It is a peanut butter cookie with fresh ground coffee beans, um, chopped peanut butter cups, and Reese's pieces. I mean. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of a cookie that had more peanut butter in it than this thing right here. Um, I mean, it has so much peanut butter in it, I don't even know what to do. So, here, you, I want you to give it a rip first. She loves peanut butter too. I don't know. What, your first means. bite, half of it's going to go on the ground, so just accept it. I'm going for it. I'm going in. What do you think? I'm even more thirsty now. I've never been this thirsty in my life. Uh, it definitely tastes like peanut butter. All you taste is peanut butter. Um, the cookie is very like powdery, if that makes sense. Like when you bite into it, like it's very crumbly? like crumbly. Yeah, it's like powdery. Like it tastes powdery to me. Um, but I like the flavor of it. Um, it's kind of dry, the cookie part, but powdery all in like. Mm -hmm. all at the same time. Like you bite in the peanut butter stuff on the outside like the candies and then you get to the inside it's kind of like dry yeah. peanut butter powder. Here, I look, don't know what I think about it. You might be able to see it here. Do you see the see the texture of the cookie? See it's like fine granules? Granules? Yeah. It's almost like very very crumbly and powdery. Um, I don't know. I mean it tastes like peanut butter. It tastes like peanut butter. I, mean, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I, I, there's like a slight hint of chocolate, and and on one of the bites I took, a very slight hint of coffee came through. Very yeah, slight. I, didn't get any coffee on I feel like you need you have to take you have to get a bite where there's like the coffee. I don't know. That might just be chocolate right there. I don't know. Yeah, um, it's, it's pretty good though. I really actually like it a lot. It but it it really just tastes like a solid peanut butter cookie. Yeah. I am getting a slight hint of the coffee coming through, the cold yeah. brew or the coffee, which I think it could, I think they could kick that up in a, a little bit. Yeah. Kick that up just a hair more and I think it would be spot on. Yeah, because I don't taste it at all. Usually I think if, you, if something has coffee in it, you taste that. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know that coffee beans taste like coffee. But then you again, the, I mean? so I don't know. the peanut butter might be just be overpowered everything again. Yeah. Um, but overall, it was just, it's, a, it's actually one of the better cookies I've had from Gideon's. Um, for me, their chocolate chip cookie is probably my favorite they don't do oatmeal raisin cookies for some reason I mean I think maybe at one point in their lives they've had an oatmeal raisin cookie that's my favorite cookie aside from like a sugar cookie with icing or frosting on it I don't know why they don't do oatmeal raisin cookies because that would probably be phenomenal but chocolate chip cookie and I feel like this is probably up there with a the chocolate chip cookie for me it's pretty good but I like peanut butter cookies so do I um, the texture is a little bit weird for me I don't love the texture of it Powder. I feel like all of their cookies are kind of powdery, but this one especially. This one's super. It's not as bad as like the coffee cake cookie that we got the one time. Oh, well, that was like. Which wasn't a cookie. Humble. It was coffee cake. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It tasted good. You should, they, you should, you, they should have just said they got. They made a coffee cake in the shape of a cookie. Because that's what it was. <laughs> True. So overall, pretty good. Six bucks, not bad. I think the cake was probably the most interesting thing. I was pretty excited about that, and it was really cool, and it was good. Uh, peanut butter cookie is really good too. Um, I'm about to die of thirst. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna we're gonna have to cut it. We're gonna have to go find some water. So until next time, we hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thanks so much for joining us. Apologize that it's so loud in here. It's one of the loudest places we've ever filmed in my entire life. So note to self next time, Starbucks is loud um, if we're trying to film. Uh, but otherwise, it's been a great day. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Definitely get out there and try the cake. Thanks again to Our Life on the Go. Check out their channel. They were the ones that recommended us these the cake to try the cake at Gideon's. Um, so we appreciate that tip because I am impressed and it was definitely a good tip. So thank you for that. Uh, we're always looking for other people to send us comments and things that you think we should try and you think we should do. Uh, so now's your chance. 
go in there, comment below, smash that like button, hit the notifications button too so you know when our next video drops. And don't forget, if you like our stuff, subscribe. Until we see you next time, the noble way. It's the easy way. Bye bye, everybody.